como estás? Me llamo Suti. Me llamo Maxim. ¿Y dónde eres? Yo soy Franco, canadiense de Montreal. Yo soy Salon Besta. Welcome to our channel. Today we have an amazing suggestion and I must tell you it's a 10 part series. 10 part series? Yeah. Here is a series of video called Estrellas del Bicentenario by TV station Televisa. They were produced to celebrate the 200th anniversary of the founding of Mexico as a country. They are each 3 minutes and have very beautiful cinematography. Each one is for a different state. So this one is called Chihuahua. Chi <laughs> yes, I know. <laughs> Chihuahua is a state in Mexico in North, actually, you can see here. Chihuahua. It's not far from El Paso, Texas. What is the next question that you're going to ask yourself? What about the dog? Is it from Mexico? Yeah. Chihuahua dog. Old folklore and archaeologic find show that the breed has origin in Mexico. The most common theory is that Chihuahua is descended from the Tishishi, a companion dog favored by the Tolkien civilization of Mexico. How oh, is big? Is it that big like that? I'm not sure if Tishishi still exists though. It seems to talk. It seems to talk about like it's a some kind of evolution from the Tishishi, Tishishi dog. Still in some place call him the Tishishi Chihuahua or something. But maybe it's like an evolution, a mutation. We have two in front of our house. Yeah, I know. Our neighbor has some um, yeah, Chihuahua. You know, the thing about the Chihuahua is that they're small, but they are the biggest barker. Yeah. They are the biggest a barker. They're crazy, too. They're not yeah. really scared. They always think they're bigger. Yes, they are small. They have something behind, right? Yeah, they are like well, history. Supposed to be like bigger dog or something. Like yeah, that. so, uh, well, the Chihuahua dog is probably from there, from, the, <laughs> from that state, and that's why <laughs> it's that's why they call the dog Chihuahua. Uh, Chihuahua. I don't know. Tell us more. Oh, oh is what? That, is that leopards? A leopard? Oh no. Hmm. Oh lion? Oh, you like female lion? It right? looks like a big cat. Yeah, right. No? It looks like everything. Like a gimbal cat or big cat? Chihuahua. El desierto. Oh, Chihuahua. Okay, oh, yeah, Chihuahua. El desierto de Samalayuca, Ciudad Juarez. Juarez. Okay. Oh, it's all a desert. Yeah, el desierto. Oh, the okay. desert. I think. Okay. Wow. Jaguar. A jaguar? He seems fat. No? What is it do? Wow, why is it so big? Like La Cascada de Bazasichi, Barangas del Cobre. Okay, so it's some kind of waterfall with some kind of steep mountain. Look like rose gold color. I will Google about it after. Actually, yeah. I want to go. I want to see what what, what they are exactly. Wow, oh my God, the photographer. Wow, y'all look at that. And you know the outfit is so fit. Whoa! Wow! Wow, look at the shot. What is that white thing? Wait, why is all like some ice look like snow? It could be coming from a, a tree or a flower or something. Uh -huh. Some kind of thing that blow when it's summer, it's gonna be, it's gonna be in the air like that. Uh -huh. It could be a type of flower. See? El Dividario Divisadero Barrancas del Cobre. Wait, 
Malanka? Uh, no. It might be state, right? It means state or not Baranka? I don't know. El Divisa de Ro Barancas. We're gonna Google everything after. Yeah. That's a wolf, right? Yeah. Or like that. Wow. Wow, look at that picture. Look like Northern Newland. What? The wolf and the moon. Yeah. It's what? Is Mexico. So this is a region with a lot of mountains. Yeah. And they're desert? Oh, but it makes sense because in Arizona, it's not a term Arizona, right? And they have a big desert. I have never been anywhere in Mexico, not even to the vacation. Yeah, <laughs> right. Okay, so in Samal Yucat, they have the dune field, Los Medanos, or more recently referred to Medanos de Samal Yucat, a series of large but separated fields of sand dune located in the northern part of the Mexican state of Chihuahua. Dune is a landform and its large mass of wind blows sand. Ah, the best known portion of the Samaliyaka dune field is lie in around the village of Samaliyaka. So there's people there. Wow, people might know everything about there. They have a lot of quartz there. Oh, okay, okay, okay. Let's see what this one is about. It's the second highest waterfall in Mexico. The whole Mexico is the second highest. Located in the Parc National, the National Park of Canon Basasishi in the Copper Canyon. Ah, so it's going to be in the canyon of Northwest Mexico near Cruel Chihuahua. This is called Copper Canyon Barrancas del Cobre. That's it, right? It's a group of six distinct canyons in the Sierra Madre Occidental in the southern part of the Chihuahua in northern Mexico. So it's the south. So the three part we saw was different part of the... Uh, that state. The canyon were formed by six rivers that drained the western side of the Sierra Tara Uamara and emerged into the Rio Fuerte. Oh, okay, interesting. The East, the new Spanish arrived in the Cooper Canyon in the 17th century and encountered the indigenous local tribe in uh, Chihuahua. The new Spanish named the people the encountered Tara Umara, derived from the word. Raramun, which is what the indigenous people call their men. Some scholar theorize that this word means the running people. During the 17th century, silver was discovered by the Hispanic in the land of Tarahumara, they have silver, mm -hmm. the trap. Some were enslaved for mining effort. There were small uprisings by the Tarahumara, but to no avail. Eventually, was forced off the more desirable land. So yeah, uh, I mean, this happened in every country, right? You chase the, you chase yeah. the indigenous people. I mean, you chase them, you kill them. I mean, because they were here first, right? Every, people were here first, and then people stole the land, and that's what happened, so... <laughs> yeah. Yeah, it's quite sad, though. Yeah. I'm really looking forward for, for, like, another part. This one is, is really interesting because we can see, like, some really, you know, big animal in, in the book, something like that. In the story, yeah, it's like still exists like even a lot, I think. Like, yeah, and tell us, never... tell us what was the animal also, yeah. we're not sure, but they seem fat to me. Compared to my version of this animal, like the wolf and the the one that looks like a, a jaguar, they seem yeah. fat compared to what I have seen, actually. I don't know if it makes sense. And also tell us what is that white thing. Anyway, speak yeah. too much. Thank you for the amazing suggestion. And um, see you very soon. Bye-bye.